When you hear the word silk, what do you think of? Maybe it's a silkworm spinning a cocoon? Or maybe it's beautiful silk fabric and clothing. But did you know, silk can also be a wearable patch for real-time monitoring. Silk can be micro needles for on-demand drug delivery. Silk can even be a sponge capable of detecting airborne viruses. And this sort of enthusiasm for discovery comes from, from the properties of silk, really. I mean, they come from all the different uses that we can imagine, that we can, we can imagine that start from this very, very fixed starting point from this, uh, from this caterpillar of wonder. Uh, so we've been trying to define the mission of Silk Lab so many times, but ultimately I think that the mission is, is material surprise. It is, it is doing, doing something with materials that you didn't think was possible. So I think our main common theme is silk, um, but what comes after is really different. What we're doing is we are taking the silk cocoon we actually reverse engineer it and we go back to the solution that the silkworm actually uses to sp um, spin the cocoon itself. And the reason for this is there's a great protein called fibroin in this solution. And after that point, every different individual who's coming from a different discipline, whether it's a chemist or a designer or a biologist, can use that fibroin and really turn it into many, many different things. My work is around uh, the additive manufacturing of silk-based material. Uh, so the lab is known as working with silk, and I'm especially working around printing it. So I, I started as a designer uh, working with materials, uh, especially, and I, I used to create objects and products based on petroleum-based materials. And so at some point I was like, maybe I should try to find um, sustainable alternatives for that. So I'm working on textiles, uh, which are 2D patterns, but I'm also working on 3D structures that are uh, eventually aimed at uh, creating architectures or objects. I'm uh, spending a lot of time on my computer to code uh, for the machine. So I'm writing the codes down and then I'm, I'm printing it. My research is based on enhancing women's health journey and helping them have smoother and better diagnostic journeys while understanding if they have an infection or not. So what I'm doing is I'm developing a vaginal microbiome sensing liner, which is going to detect if the microbiome balance is good or bad. And that tells a lot about the overall health and whether or not someone is susceptible to getting infections. This is a lab, this is a fake lab, it's like a mini it's like a mini institute. There's like eight, there's like eight, eight different laboratories. So people sort of like disperse, and some people are, are doing optics, and some people are trying to, are trying to make silk glues. And I have a very strong belief that, uh, that people that are driven to do something meaningful, that are driven to do impact, speak the same language no matter what their extraction is and what their expertise is. And so if you find people that are like-minded and that really that really want to do the, the conversa conversation is very easy. So to me, all this talk about interdisciplinarity and crossover and et cetera is not about is not about putting different disciplines together. It's about finding it's about people that find each other. It's really amazing to have really different people together because we are able to have more deeper conversations and as a designer I'm learning so much by just being here and by just um, hearing the opinions of scientists on my work and vice versa. So we are really building something together. I'm not working alone on the project at all. I'm just leaving my part on the design and additive manufacturing side. Uh, and I'm nor uh, an engineer nor a biologist so I'm trying to grab uh, elements wherever I can. It's been really beautiful, but it's beautiful also because it embeds sort of like, besides the wonder, the discovery, and the surprise, it really embeds also this element of play and of being, of being able to try to connect things that you didn't think um, you would be able to connect, but that ultimately, ultimately do come together in, uh, in, in sort of like a, um, a very magical uh, way. Uh, and that is really important because it's the essence of it's the essence of discovery, and it it reformulates the way that you ask questions about things. And uh, I think that more than anything, we would like I, I think we would like to say that to do something that matters, and that can mean you know that can mean many things. <laughs>